Hi everyone, I'm Urban Girl and welcome to my channel. I'm not far from the house at a local beauty spot just to set up the shelter and have a spot of lunch. It was supposed to rain today but the forecast has shifted slightly to later on in the afternoon but yeah the sky looks pretty ominous and it's pretty humid. It's about 60 degrees so it's not bad because there's not really much wind at the moment um, so it's it, it feels actually quite pleasant but anyway we need to get the shelter set up so let's get cracking guys Right, there we go. I'm pretty happy with that, guys. I mean, there's absolutely tons of space in this, honestly. You could definitely get two men in there. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't be comfortable, but that's not what it was designed for. Um, yeah. Looks good. Right, let's get stuff inside in case it rains. Wow, the humidity is really, um, yeah, quite high humidity, so definitely feels like we're going to get a rainstorm later. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the Zeltban's not really a shelter for uh, warm weather because um, it's pretty thick, pretty heavy duty canvas, so um, it's certainly better, better in the winter months, but, you know, saying that... <laughs> It's good practice to come out and, you know, practice with your kit and set stuff up. Just to give you an update, um, guys, um, I, I appreciate I've probably not had a video out for a couple of weeks now. Um, and that's just because I've had some uh, family stuff to do um, that was really important and kind of required me to be and stay around the house. Um, and so that's going to continue for quite a few weeks. And... Um, but yeah, I should be able to get out a wee bit more locally now. And um, what, what, what it also meant, or what it means, is that it's slightly delayed my travel plans for this year. I was going to go to France today. My flight was all booked. I can't get any money back on it. There's no point in changing it. The, the amendment fees are extortionate. So, um, yeah, I can try and claim it back, but I don't know. Anyway, hey-ho, that's... It just what it is. It was unexpected. It was unforeseen. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to France today, but hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, we'll get there by um, maybe the end of July. So quite, quite late on in the year for me. But um, anyway, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I've got some exciting plans for when I'm there. So we'll share that nearer the time, guys, when we're there. Now that I've got super fast, super, super de duper fast broadband in France, um, I can also make videos and upload videos there. So that's my future plans. That's where I've been. Um, thanks for everybody that answered the poll. Um, I did a quick poll yesterday on what shelter I should bring out. So the Zeltban won it. Um, it was a 50-50 split between watch the Euros and bring the Zeltban. So yeah. You'll probably guess by the thumbnail that um, I attempted that last night and, well, 
we know how that ended so here we are guys so i'm going to get set up for lunch um i've brought the um oex the wee oex could you stove out with me um so yeah i'm going to set that up and uh, just make a wee bite to eat but um first of all i think i'm going to have a wee drink because i'm quite thirsty probably should have brought my chair for here because it was quite um quite rocky i was going to go um further into the local woods where i normally go it's slightly further away than this um but my battery on my bike looked a bit low so um and with things being the way they are at home i just didn't want to chance it so um i'm up i'm just up at the local um clay pits in glasgow near the canal That's the Forth and Clyde Canal. Um, and this area is called Hamilton Hill. For anybody that's interested, if you want to look up in Google Maps, it's called the Clay Pits and it's at Hamilton Hill in Glasgow. Um, this whole area was actually a project, multi-partnership project between the canals, um, Sustrans and the City Council and everything. Um, and they renovated it all and rewilded a lot of it but also built access paths so um and a new bridge so it's really nice this spot is quite nice in the summer because the ground's really really dry i think in the winter this area would be quite boggy or quite wet so it's probably not that great in the winter um and the other thing about in the summer is that the grass in front of me is really really long so it kind of hides you from view a wee bit not entirely, but I'm not trying to hide anyway. I'm not stealth camping, guys. I'm really glad I came up here. Um, I was going to go to the local spot, as I said before, um, because I specifically wanted to go down to the river to have a look for some stones. Um, but because this is all uh, an old clay pit that's been dug over to, you know, restore it, as I said, make it in a kind of nature nature space access space um there's actually loads and loads and loads of stone so um i've just been wandering about collecting some stones for my uh, new pond project i'll put a wee clip in of that if you just out of interest guys if you want to see it um uh, if you look back a couple of videos you'll see that i'm renovating or not renovating but i'm creating a wee kind of zen garden pond space um out in my rooftop garden um and i want some stones to create that kind of you know rockery effect or whatever so i've just been going around wandering around here and um picking up um the quartz that i could find i don't know if it's real quartz but anyway it looks like quartz to me but what i did find was um a couple of really really nice and i don't know if you can really get the benefit of that color but a couple of you know really really nice wee kind of ready orangey bits um especially that one you probably can't see it very well because it is quite dirty let's see if i can yeah more a kind of real deep amber color um as i say i don't know if they're real quartz or not but anyway they're nice <laughs> that though that you know they'll be nice when they're wet um and as it rains a lot here in Scotland, um, I think they'll look really nice in the Zen Garden. I might put some of them in the pond. Um, I've collected some real bigger pieces of just normal rocks, um, just a mixture of different rocks. Um, and I might use them in the, actually inside the pond just to help build up some levels for some of the marginal plants that need to sit out the water a wee bit. So that's what I've been doing, just wandering around. Um, yeah, a really mindful experience, really pleasant. Um, and, you know, aside from the aeroplane noise every now and again, um, it's actually lovely here. It's just really nice and, and quiet and, you know, as quiet as you can get for the city anyway, guys. So, yeah, right. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. Let's get lunch sorted.
okay, nothing too fancy today, guys. Um, something that I've had before, which is the classic quarter pounder. Um, so I've got my wee frying pan here with my stove in it. I did find a smaller pot that the stove fits inside, which also fits inside the lunch boxes that I bought. Um, so I'm quite pleased about that. Okay, hopefully not much to it today. And I hope this burger fits in this tiny wee pot. And I've got a wee bit of olive oil just to put in the pan to stop it sticking to the pan. That should be enough, don't need a lot. I think that'll do, it only takes five minutes. So we'll just plop this cheese on the bun. Now the last time I tried this, it went a bit spectacularly wrong. Because oh, it kind of was sticking to the paper. Oh, there we go. Oh God, that my trousers doesn't matter. <laughs> I've got that burger sauce everywhere. What a mess. I was sure I put a hanky in my bag, but I kind of found it. I don't know what I've done with it. I usually keep a packet of paper hankies in my bag. For the real emergencies. Don't know where it is. Never mind. Here we go, guy, the classic quarter pounder. Nice. Mmm, good. Right, I'll sit here and enjoy my lunch and I'll bring you back, guys.
Well guys, that's me. I'm all packed up and ready to go. The sun's come out. It feels quite warm. What a beautiful day. Thanks again for watching my channel. I really appreciate all your views and comments. Let me know if you think that's real quartz. If you're watching and you've not subscribed, do me a favour and think about clicking that button and hit the bell for notifications so that you can find out when I upload more content. It really, really does make a difference. I'm just an urban girl out having a bit of fun. Bye!